it's Renoir and in this video I am doing a fashion haul featuring one of my absolute favorite fashion stores, Zara. Every item I'm going to mention in this video is a purchase that I have made in the recent month or two, which means you guys can find most of them on their website. I will make sure to link every single item in the description box below. Also, a quick disclaimer, you guys are probably going to hear some screams, uh, laughs, uh, baby noises happening in the background. That's my daughter. I am a new mom. And I have a daughter that does not like to nap during the day, so I decided instead of me just, you know, postponing all this content that I want to do for you guys, I'm going to do it and I'm going to use my daughter's voice as background music. Let's get to the video. Alright guys, the first item I'm going to talk about is kind of a trendy piece. We all know the current trend of shoulder pad shirts. So I had to go ahead and grab this top from Zara. I love the fact that not only does it have the shoulder pads, but two, it is a crop shirt, and three, it does have a satin finish to it. So it looks a little bit more uh, luxurious than a typical, you know, white tee that has a shoulder pad on it. The price point is also pretty affordable compared to other uh, shoulder pad tops that are on the market. This specific top, this comes in three colors. It comes in the beige, the black, and the blue. I decided to buy it in both the beige and the black. Side note, because this top does have more of a satin finish to it, it's really easy for you guys to get like water stains or perfume stains or baby related stains on it. So make sure when you're wearing it, you obviously have to be a little bit more careful because these types of t-shirts do tend to stain. All right, the next shirt that I'm gonna talk about does also have a satin finish to it. However, this is a blouse, so it is an essential piece in every single woman's closet. My daughter tends to agree. It is pretty oversized, so there's multiple ways that you guys can actually wear this shirt. You can wear it for work, tucked in with high-waisted pants. I even wore it when I went to my Wyoming trip with my regular uh, black pants, a belt, and some boots, and I got so many questions on the top. It kind of elevated my look a little bit because, again, of the satin finish on the top. And then finally, because it is oversized, you guys can wear it with some biker shorts and give it more of a casual feel, maybe put, you know, a, a belt bag to accentuate your waist. So it's definitely one of those pieces that is a staple piece in my closet, and I can get many, many wears out of it. You can wear it in the spring, you can wear it, you know, in summer, if you're going to work, you can wear it as a layering piece for winter and fall. Absolutely love this top. It also does come in different colors. The next top that I'm going to talk about is the top that I'm wearing right now. It is this beautiful black top. I have a thing for shoulder pads and like shoulder designs and puff sleeves. So anything, if there's any top on Zara that has puff sleeves or some sort of design to it, I always tend to buy it. So this was one of those pieces. It does have uh, some detailing on the arms, as you guys can see. It's not very cropped. It sits a little bit higher than your belly button. On the shoulders, it does have that tool detailing, more of like a ruffled tool detailing that's really nice. It's not as overwhelming. At first, I, I debated if I should keep this top or not because I'm like, do I look like a clown? Do I not? But after wearing it and kind of walking around with it in the house, I decided that it is a keep. So I'm gonna link that top for you guys also down below. The next item is a beige bodysuit. Now, it's not your typical bodysuit. There's things that I do like about it and there's things that I do not like about it. What I do not like about the top is that it does not snatch like a regular bodysuit. You guys actually have to tie it like around your thighs at the bottom. So that was a little awkward for me. What I do like about it is the side cut details that does come with it. It kind of elongates your torso, especially Especially if you're going to pair it with you know low rise pants as you guys can see in the footage when I wear it with regular size pants it, it doesn't look as good as if you're wearing low rise pants because it does give the illusion of a longer torso so when wearing this bodysuit I'm definitely going to be pairing it up with some low rise pants moving on I bought this beautiful beige blazer that is oversized it is the right amount of oversized if that makes sense so it's not too big but it's like not too small. The length of the blazer is perfect with pairing it with shorts or a skirt. I absolutely love the look of a co-ed set of a blazer and a short or a skirt where you can see that you're wearing a skirt, but at the same time, it's like, is she wearing something under that blazer? Is it a dress or is it not? Kind of like that vibe. So I love this specific blazer that I'm wearing and I also paired it up with this Zara skirt that was not supposed to be worn together. The skirt actually was paired up with another blazer, but I didn't like the other blazer. I preferred this blazer instead because of the material of it. It's thin, it's light, and it's not one of those blazers that gets wrinkled super, super easily. Since we are on the topic of skirts, and I'm talking about the skirt that I wore with this blazer, let's go ahead and move forward to bottoms. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, I bought this skirt from Zara that is beige as well. It is very close in color to the blazer that I paired it up with. It's beautiful. It is a really tight on you, so it really hugs those curves in. Lately, I've been trying to stay away from just purchasing a bunch of like dark colors and focus on more like bright and nice neutral tone colors to update my closet. So this skirt was definitely a must have. I could wear it with the blazer, I can wear it with, you know, any other, any other top. It's kind of that neutral color. It's kind of like a black. So beige is kind of like the new black for my wardrobe specifically. You can kind of wear it with absolutely anything. Next is this white draped skirt. It's a mini skirt. I got so many questions on it when I posted the picture on Instagram. I wore it to my sister's birthday. Um, I've been wearing it a lot during summer because it does have that summery vibe to it. It's not really see-through, which is kind of a big deal for me, especially with white skirts or anything white at the bottom. Some items tend to be see-through. This one was not. The thickness was just perfect. It does have a slit, so it kind of gives it a little bit more of a sexy vibe. I really like pairing it up with some heels, not necessarily flats because I'm not that, that tall. I am 5'5", five five, so when you're 5'5 five five and you're wearing anything that's midi, it can happen or it does tend to make you look a little shorter. So the fact that this skirt does have a slit on it, it kind of helps elongate you a little bit and then when you pair it up with some heels, you don't have to worry about that problem. Next up are these beige high-waisted tailored pants. Oh my gosh, you guys, these look absolutely amazing on your body. They look so good on. So I love a monochromatic look. So I do wear these pants with the shoulder padded crop top that I showed you earlier today. I also like pairing it up with any other crop top that I have in the same tone. You can also obviously wear any other color with it. It is so nice, you guys. The length is also really good, so it's not super short or it's not super long on me. So if you're 5'5", five five, it's Perfect, I got it in a size uh, medium, which is kind of the size that I usually go for with all of Zara's bottoms. And the final category is accessories. Zara actually has a really nice selection of accessories that are very, very trendy. So I had to purchase a few and I'm gonna mention them to you guys in this video. So the first one are these beautiful sandals. They are in this really, really nice brown, color that is pretty popular especially year-round it's not really like a summer color and it does have these pearl accents to them i love anything that shines and sparkles and anything that has pearl to it as well so these sandals are super comfortable they're nice for any beach destination or just basically when i'm running errands and in this vegas heat i like to wear open toe shoes more than like closed toe shoes it's really quick for me to put on and just get out of the house so it's a really nice statement sandal that I wanted to add to my collection. Moving on are these Bottega inspired black heels. The actual heel length, it's not that tall, so it's about four inches, maybe a little bit less. I would say maybe three and a half. They are so comfortable and they are so trendy. A lot of people think they're actually Bottegas, but they're not, they're from Zara. And a lot of the shoes that they have right now on their website are Bottega inspired. They do have that mesh design and that square shaped uh, heel or uh, toe front, whatever you guys call that. And then the final accessory item is this beach bag that does have the pearl design with it and it comes with a really nice satin pouch right inside. You guys can wear it for any like, you know, daytime beach inspired wedding, a bachelorette party. Really nice bag to have also if you are planning or you have a beach honeymoon destination. I thought it was super cute, even though I might not be able to wear it as much during the summer because of COVID. It's definitely one of those pieces that will never go out of style, so I can always wear it next summer and so on and so forth. So I decided to add it to my collection. All right guys, so Serena wants to show you the actual purse instead of me apparently. So you can either wear it without the pouch just by itself or because it doesn't have anything inside to close it out. So that's why you put everything in your pouch if you have any valuables like your wallet or anything like that. You can put it in this really nice silk pouch that goes right inside this bag. That was it, you guys, for my first Zara haul. I hope you enjoyed it with Serena's background noises, of course. It definitely added a little bit of spice to this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. And I'll see you guys next week. Ready, we're going to go tell them bye? Ready, we're going to tell them bye? The next haul is gonna feature Zara baby clothing. I'm just waiting for her to start fitting into Zara's clothing. 